Sacramento State is really going through a renaissance of student success programs and trying to really help students be successful. Our students and our faculty actually work really, really well together. We have students who are very motivated to learn. A lot of them are coming from a very diverse sort of environment. So they haven't had a lot of preparation on um, how to be in college. And so we have faculty who are sensitive to that and who are meeting students where they are instead of where they think they should be. The center, the opportunities that it brings for students is really to bring them together so that they can experience a variety of services. So it could be a one-stop shop to refer them to all these services that exist in the college as independent entities, but that can, for the university, the students can go there and be like, oh, I need help with something. I want to be successful. I want to do well in my science and math classes. How do I do that? How do I become a leader? How do I get involved? How do I give back? Undergraduate research experiences are really important for integrating students into the science culture. There's a language that scientists speak and you need to learn to do written communication. You need to learn to orally communicate. Undergraduate research experiences give you an opportunity to work with professional scientists that are already in the field. And there's also programs like the Science Educational Equity Program that helps disadvantaged students excel in the sciences and take advantage of different research opportunities. The Learning Assistant Program is run in the classroom. So learning assistants come and facilitate uh, discussion in a highly engaged class where there would be a traditional lecture. We want students to work more collaboratively as part of teams. And in order for that to happen in a large class, we need help facilitating discussion. The programs that we've developed at Sac State really involve our students to a great extent. And I think that's something that's unique. So not only have our students helped in the development of our programs, they've helped to evaluate and actually improve our programs. The faculty, in a sense, have utilized our students for manpower. Um, and also, we, we value their input and their, their special skill sets. There are various programs at Sacramento State that help students succeed. For example, there's the Peer Assisted Learning Program. The Peer Assisted Learning Program takes a student who has done well in one of our STEM Gateway courses and provides them with the opportunity to assist their peers. So we have students who are um, academically capable in a particular course, and we harness that, and we allow them to help their peers make it through that same gateway course in a subsequent semester. And you, it just helps open students up and makes them feel more involved with other students, and they get to teach each other. So they're really learning more about not just the material, but the learning process. And it helps them in their future classes. You never really know something until you're forced to teach it to someone. But we go even a step beyond that in that we're not necessarily teaching our students. We have to think a little bit deeper and ask questions that are gonna help the students get to the answer that they need. So the Peer Assisted Learning Program at Sacramento State has improved student performance directly. We, we can measure this in our STEM Gateway courses. On average, a student who chooses to enroll in a PAL program is going to earn a passing grade at a rate that is 15% higher on average than a student who does not opt into the PAL program. The Serious Project is an NSF and Keck Foundation funded project where we are going to actually redesign 12 of our existing laboratories to integrate authentic research experiences for our students. All of the classes are going to be around a common theme, and that theme is going to be about the human impacts of the American River ecosystem. And the American River runs right through our campus, and so that's a problem, that's a real scientific problem. We're going to work together as a faculty uh, to develop all of these labs. We are literally integrating and aligning um, these research projects across 12 different classes where we will get students at all different levels. So we will be able to impact all 2,000 of our pre-majors and our majors throughout their entire curriculum here at Sac State. The students at Sacramento State, one of the wonderful qualities about them is their ability and interest to give back to other students. So in many science learning environments, it's a very competitive academic environment. Here at Sacramento State, we have a very collaborative learning environment. So students are assisting each other. Programs that we're putting together under the umbrella, like the PAL facilitator program, like um, the Sirius project, like uh, the other student support programs in the college, I think it's uh, an important place 
for students to be able to get what they need. The main goal is to improve learning, improve student success, make sure that they not only pass the class, but they pass the class because they have learned.